it used to be, you know, you, you were looking at Toronto pre-con or, or Hamilton pre-con or whatever, and then you were looking at Calgary and it was half the price and, and the gap is narrower now. So it's it brings in a little bit more questions about should I really do this thing? Yeah. You know? What now about Calgary like... now? Is Calgary still rocking with the pre-con? Yeah, but the winds are way out of the sails. Like it's not what it was. It's maybe half or 30% of the interest that it had last year. So I think just sentiment from an investing standpoint is is pretty pretty murdered. But also just in that two-year stint, that three-year stint, we can call it of like Calgary investing. Also, the prices have come up a lot in Calgary during that period of time, not just on resale, but also on pre-construction. And so it used to be, you know, you'd look at, you, you were looking at Toronto pre-con or, or Hamilton pre-con or whatever, and then you were looking at Calgary and it was half the price and, and the gap is narrower now. So it's it brings in a little bit more questions about should I really do this thing? Um, but when when you can pick up a one bedroom for 220K, you know, a couple of years back, like people were, were like, oh, what's 220K? Like, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, especially yeah. with the rents that they were able to get. It was a no brainer, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little, I'm still skeptical on Calgary. That's the truth. I don't know anything about it, and I could admit that. And I'm sure that there's some great deals out there within the right building in the right area or whatever it is. But I'm sure there's some bad deals that either A, will never get built, or B, will be, uh, you know, you'll for be sure. underwater for the next 10 years after you buy it. So I think you really got to, you know, analyze the deals in, in Calgary. I think in Toronto, like you said, people are very forward thinking. And so you're you're relying on these new buyers. Like I'm relying on a buyer who's going to be willing to pay more in a few years for the same product and therefore would make me money. Where in Calgary, I don't have the same confidence. I think Calgary buyers, people who are living in Calgary, don't have the same forward thinking that Toronto they're very skeptical. They're concerned about the market. They've been through it. Yeah, they've been through it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, that's an interesting point. And I also, you know, I just find it interesting that they kind of repeat the same mistakes. Like if you're going to buy a $250,000 one bedroom in Calgary and your plan is to hold it for 20 years, like whatever, I'm sure you're going to be fine. But if like, it's interesting because these buildings come up, some of them, because they were purchased three or four years ago, are are like coming up for completion now. And I'm seeing the the amount of assignments and I'm like, did these people actually buy in Calgary to assignment flip? Like they're applying the same strategy they applied in Toronto. For sure. They're just like moving it over to Calgary, like, which is yeah. insane. And then you also look at it on the, on the resale and you can look at the transactions and, and the listings and you can go, oh, these like assignments in Calgary are not selling because the locals don't want, don't even know what an assignment, they don't even want an assignment. They're like, I'll just go buy resale. What are you talking about? And then, yeah, it's just, it's just really interesting. Like the assignments there do not catch a bid whatsoever. Wow. Uh, so, so they're walking no right there. into the same trap. They walked right into it. The same people. <laughs> they just <laughs> went into the different door. Right? Yeah. Like, oh, this oh one looks gosh. like it might be poor, okay. Poor souls, eh? Like, comment, and subscribe if you got anything from one of these clips. And if you want to see some more, press something on the screen here. Boom. That was good. That was good. That was good. I like that. That was good.